<clears throat> Greetings, unsettled souls! <laughs> oh yeah, nothing like starting off the dust cap of the month. Five shows with me clearing my throat. All right, friends, let me tell you what. I have been noticing before we get into our first story that whenever the screen goes white, my face goes orange. I've mentioned this before now that the show does have some financial backing. God bless you, Opera News, which I hope we're all of you are finding me at. A bunch of new stuff's going to be ordered, but for the time being, I found a way around it, at least a little bit, by making the screen dark. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the Dunce Cap of the Month Award gets mailed out once a month. And I've mailed them to the Pentagon, the Kamala Harris, President Obama, it's been sent to judges, it's been sent to police stations. You name it, and the police station, by the way, it, was, it wasn't what you think. Look it up. It wasn't rude. Um, the dumbest stories that don't make the dumb day of the day, which goes on every day, the dumbest stories make the dunce cap of the month. There will be five of them. That's the new format. And this is the first of them. Thank you, InfoWars. Video. Biden didn't miss the kill list of Americans may have been given to the Taliban. Not only did this wonderful commander-in-chief of ours manage to trust the Taliban, saying that they were going to, you know, for instance, where they, they, they said they were going to honor women's rights. Remember, remember that was all over the news cycle? That was being pushed as the narrative? Maybe he didn't outright say it. But it was being pushed that they could be trusted. After all, Trump said they could. No, Trump didn't say they could. Trump said, if you do not do what I tell you to do, I will blow your camel's kahunes off. Okay? There will be nothing left of you, not even in the sand, which we would probably turn to glass. That's what Trump said. This, this genius here didn't just push that narrative. He actually did it. Okay, he, You don't end up on a Dunce Cap of the Month award show just necessarily for pushing an, a bad idea. But when you grab onto it with both hands, that will in fact land you on the Dunce Cap of the Month award show. He gave the list of people who we need out to the Taliban. Now, the Taliban are known for rape, terror, uh, oppression, People that live there are so terrified that they were grabbing onto airplanes and was blown off the, 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 the plane and fell, it was reported, maybe upwards to a couple thousand feet, if they made it that far, to their deaths on the unforgiving concrete of the runway to get away from these people. Biden gave them a list of people thinking the Taliban was going to say, well, we got the list. Let's make sure these people get out. Would you like some filet mignon? Thank you for what you've done for our country for 20 years. Here, have a piñata. Is that really what they thought was going to happen? Decide for yourselves, friends. Uh, after details emerged, it says that Biden officials... Handled the ta handed a, the Taliban a list of names of Americans and Afghan allies that they wanted evacuated, as well as allowing biometric devices containing fingerprints, lovely eye scans, and personal details. Now they can go after their family of those allies to fall into Taliban hands. The president was charged with having quote blood on his hands after he admitted that quote that very well could have happened. Oh, that might have happened. <laughs> The existence of what has been dubbed a kill list was first reported by Politico via three congressional officials. The report notes that the decision to provide specific, oh, you wouldn't want to get the spelling wrong, specific names. I hope they got nicknames, too. Uh, you wouldn't want to miss anyone. Specific nicknames to the Taliban which has a history of brutally murdering Afghans who collaborated with the U.S. and other coalition forces during the conflict. And it's angered the lawmakers and military officials. Basically, they just put all of those Afghans on a kill list, said one of the anonymous officials, adding it's just appalling and shocking and makes you feel unclean. Unclean? 
If the only thing you feel is unclean, when you have a man in the White House who is this stupid and a vice president who is this sadistic right behind him, let me tell you, you need to feel a few other things. At least he's on the right track. Uh, the Biden officials claimed that the list was the best way to keep Americans and Afghans safe. When questioned about the list on Thursday following a massive terror attack at Kabul Airport, which killed at least 13 Americans and over 100 other people now is what that is up to. I told you that was, that, that was going to happen. Biden replied, oh, I can't tell you with any certitude. Uh, there's basically been a list of names. Uh, well, there may have been, but uh, I don't know of any circumstances. This idiot. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist, he said. That there's the names of 12 people. They're coming, let them through. That very well could have happened. Nobody even knows what the hell the end of that sentence even means. Here. I can't tell you with any certitude that certitude? there's actually been a list of names. I know there may have been, but I know of no circumstances. That means it's not didn't exist. That here's the names of twelve people that are coming and let them through. It could very well have happened. I'll take one more question. Regarding the revelations, President Trump commented, now we're giving lists of Americans to the Taliban so they can just knock on the door and grab them and take them out. What we are watching now is only going to get worse. It can only go one way. In the interview with Fox News, Trump added, we look like foes all over the world. We are weak. We are pathetic. We are being led by people that have no idea what they're doing. And I can let you read the rest of it, friends. Let me tell you what this is like. This is like saying, well, you know, the, the street gang down the road, I know that they, you know, maybe shot somebody last week, and then they, they robbed a store, and they, 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 they've got a reputation for, you know, shooting guns in the middle of the night. What I'm going to do is give them a list of all of the neighbors who would like them to move. And that's going to either make them change their evil ways, or they're going to move. Because they will know that these people are on the side of what's right. 24 to 48 hours. Let me know in the comment lines. How long would that list uh, take before the people suddenly weren't complaining anymore? After a visit. I bet you the gangs would like bake them a cake. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, especially Joe Biden, if you're listening. What kind of cake would they make? Make sure you let me know.